one of my dreams, it's a bit lame. Uh, me and my wife uh, are gonna buy or rent a Harley and drive across Europe, all these different breweries, and that's the goal. That's what all this is about, to make that happen. I'm Terry, I'm from Liverpool. I've always lived in Liverpool. Um, I didn't know anything about brewing when we started the brewery. Uh, myself and my business partner, Paul, we learned how to do this in our kitchen. I think the idea kind of developed over time about the brewery. Um, I always wanted to run my own business. I don't know if that's just because wherever I've worked, I've always got frustrated and felt, oh, we could, I could do that better. Things which is a very easy thing to do when someone else is running the show, you always think you can do a better job. I think, I think I like the idea of um, people making something, you know, making a product and being really proud of it and trying to get it better and better and better all the time. And that's what appealed to me. I, I wasn't a fanatic about it, um, but I did like that idea about making something and trying to get it better and better and better and refining it all the time and, you know, sharing that with people and seeing what they thought. So that all just kind of sat really comfortably as an idea. Uh, so as a concept, it was a great romantic concept, but actually executing that was really, really difficult, but uh, you've kind of got there in the end. What we've learned is uh, making good beer, or, or it's probably the same for any product, really. Um, if you're passionate about it, you've never arrived. There's no destination. You're always trying to make it better and better and better. And you're always learning more. So we were very much a blank page when we started, but I think we know a bit now, and we know what we don't know. <laughs> so. Myself and Paul, we'd made a batch of beer, uh, and it was three weeks before it was ready. And we tasted the beer and we thought, there's nothing wrong with that. And thought, okay, we've made beer and there's nothing wrong with it. But it wasn't great. There was nothing particularly fancy. It, it, was, it didn't have the, the taste profile we wanted. It wasn't, there was nothing special about it. It was quite bland beer, but there was no faults in it. There was nothing wrong with it. And we could have sold it and that could have been our first beer. But we kind of said, well, what are we about? You know, why have we done this? We haven't gone to all of this effort to make a beer we're not happy with. So we had something we could have sold and the cash flow at the time, and we were running out of money, we could have really done with selling it and making the money on it. We decided to pour it down the drain because we weren't happy with it. I think that was kind of a defining moment for us that we haven't done this just, we haven't done this to make money. We've done this to make a good beer or something we're proud of and something we're happy with. Um, so that's, uh, that was a kind of a moment for us. You know, you're looking at a couple of grand's worth of stock and you decide to sling it because it's, you're not happy with it. It's not what you want it to be. We're only small. You know, we, we don't, it, relatively, relative to other brewers, we don't make much beer. So everything we make has to be absolutely spot on because that's what our reputation is, you know, uh, having good, consistent beers that are bold and powerful and you know, leave an impression on you. Uh, we try and get that balance between something that's palatable, but something that's really interesting and got lots of character and is different from the next beer. You know, it's, it stands on its own as a beer. You know, if, if, if you drank it amongst 10 other beers, you'd know well, that's American Red, a beer that we make, or that's Brown Bear, another beer that we make, or Rye Pale Ale. Uh, we, we'd like our beers to be distinctive enough for somebody to say, that tastes like a Liverpool craft beer. I, I met a brewer a couple of weeks ago and he said to him, he said, oh, are you from Liverpool craft beer? And I said, yeah, and he said to him, we only see your beers in posh places. 
And I thought, well, that's not intentional, but that's nice, thank you. If so, people are thinking that about us, then that must be good. Everyone's on their own separate journey, but if you're all in the same community, there should be some common ground, I think, where we're all kind of growing together. Uh, and that, that's kind of what our experience has been uh, when we've got successful partners uh, who buy our beer. Um, you know, we look after them, they look after us. And I think that's what community and local small businesses should be about. I think, I think the idea just got us and we just thought, once the bug had hit us, this was what we wanted to do. And we just kept asking, we just kept saying to ourselves, it would be something we regretted not doing. We wanted to think back and think we at least gave it a go rather than think back and think, oh, that was a good idea, I wish we'd done that.